I am really tired. We've spent the last four weeks completing all our boat projects, launching the boat, renting out the apartment, getting rid of the car. And I'm really happy to say that we're on schedule with absolutely everything. And for the next 10 days, I will be sailing between the west coast of Sweden, where I am right now, and Orkney, which is an archipelago uh, north of Scotland. I'm super excited to do it without Ryan. I think that, you know, getting my own experience, it's going to be very beneficial when we sail polar seal together. I am super excited to learn from Andy and Mia. I couldn't imagine better people to learn from. This is my very first offshore sailing ever. In French, we have a saying, l'avenir appartient à ceux qui se lèvent tôt. The future belongs to those who wake early. excited for today. We're setting sail. We don't know exactly where yet, but figure it out. Everybody's clear the boom now. Oh, you're sitting on my... Uh... So that it's... on my boat only with Ryan I would have freaked out immediately and it, this is a little out of my comfort zone but I feel very safe and I will get over the seasickness I want to die can someone make the boat stop moving please I really gotta pee but I can't even think about being in the cabin. Don't vomit. Don't vomit. Where is Ryan? Hey guys, today we are in Denmark. And as you can see, it's blowing! Which is essentially why we are here, in Skagen, to be exact. We arrived last night around 9.30 and I was in a very 
pitiful state. That was actually the worst seasickness that I have ever experienced. What happened was we left Marstrand yesterday and immediately after the boat was shaking and it was too late for me to go in the cabin and get my gear and so <laughs> once I was miserable there was no way there was no way out. My strategy for the rest of the trip is to um, get some seasickness medicine, have my full weather gear, my gloves and all my warm equipment accessible. Uh, I'm really grateful that we get this uh, little time off so that I can like kind of reset and uh, think through uh, the rest of the trip. As of now, we don't really know where we are going to end up and when. The weather is a little unstable, so we're getting ready to set sail and getting some good rest and having fun. That dinner last night was way too good to be sacrificed to the gods of the sea. That's a really good point. Yeah. In the middle of the North Sea, somewhere uh, south of Norway, and the conditions are way better than on Friday. Uh, I'm just off my first watch, and I am not seasick, which is awesome. Now we're gonna do a log, check the bilges, say hi to Andy, hey. and I'm gonna go to bed. Yep, the waves did pick up. Let me make this camera actually level for a minute so people realize what's happening. That's how we were in the Bahamas here, with my here, dad here. and my friend Billy. And we were motoring up maybe 20 miles off the coast of Florida. And like, no wind. And I was down below sleeping like under the top. I, uh, I, I had not anticipated the challenge it would be to brush my teeth offshore. Somebody said that in a podcast. They're like, you're in your bunk. You're two feet away from the bathroom door. And yet you can't bother to get up and brush your teeth because it's healed over too much. It's like, that's what it's like. You have no energy to get up and brush your teeth even though the head's two feet away. I thought that was an apt description.
It is 1am, I am taking the dog watch with Rob, who's at the helm. This is my very first night watch and it is peach black. We're doing a good speed. Yeah, I'm like actually flying over the water. Yeah, it's too bad you can't see the sea at all. Last night I was on watch from midnight to 4 a.m. I changed my my seasickness patch yesterday on my feet. And now my vision is properly blurred. Like I cannot read anything. I think the last time I took showers was three days ago. I feel really disgusting. It's a long time. That's the longest time I've gone without showering. Susan, are you going for a swim? I, I'm wearing five layers right now <laughs> and I'm not warm. How about you, Rob? Are you going? I, uh, I just can't think of any reason why I would. Why, why, you, why you would not? I don't know why I would. Oh, why you would. <laughs> What's yeah. the water temperature like today? Nine degrees Celsius. We call that an oh. inversion temperature. What does that yeah. mean? It means those little nodules. Got certain things will be inverted. Oh, that inversion. <laughs> Singer. Ready, Mia? One, two, three. Oh my God. I'm not going in. Woo! So what I, am I doing? <laughs> going in the water. Count to three. Come on. Two, three. Woo! <laughs> yeah! What do you have to say about it? That was so cool! <laughs> this is not what I get into sailing for! <laughs> Sailors are supposed to stay on the boat. Yeah! Jesus! Oh my god. Is that a dolphin? The big one. Oh, oh wow! That's incredible. Put it hot. Hello. Sorry. No, it's okay. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I just happened up like a gopher. You could get me with one of those soft mallets. This passage so far has been a good one. We're getting a little bit of everything. Some low winds, some high winds, some big waves, some small waves. Actually, I don't know if we've gotten big waves yet. Glad to be managing my inner feelings as far as the stomach goes. Going to the bathroom during that passage has been particularly exciting, I will say. Yeah, you. I, I differentiate the sea state between the two leg brace <laughs> against the door in the front, right? One leg on the jam, one leg here on the jam. Of course, if you slip, you can... So Ben's yeah. C state C scale yeah. can be measured oh, by your C position state. on the toilet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if it's a, if it's a no-hander, oh my god, it's so calm out, it's so nice. Um, there's that and there's the one hand brace. 
I, I differentiate the C-state between the two leg brace <laughs> against the door in the front, right? One leg on the jam, one leg here on the jam. Of course, if you slip, you kick the door open and out you go. And the two legger, we haven't had a two legger since yesterday afternoon, I don't think. Good. There's also a thing that us boys can do that I don't recommend. Real sailors sit, but you can stand over the john and yeah, the wedge your head yeah. against the wall <laughs> and an elbow this way. Open there. And present to the toilet. But the problem with that is pee's going to go where it goes, and if the toilet moves, well, then you've peed on the toilet seat, and that's not nice. So it's better to just sit down. Because you never know when a one-hand brace is going to turn into a two-legged brace. That's the Ben C State scale. If I'm drunk enough, you gotta do it on land too. <laughs> Is it okay if I close the hatch? Okay. I'd have you as not go wrong. Take my advice, drink no strong drink. Don't sleep away with the whores. But get married, lads, and spend all night in. So you'll go to sea no more. Land! Land ho! Land ho! Yeah. Welcome to Scotland, baby. First one to see land gets a nickel. Yeah, but in what currency? Yeah. We gotta figure this out. <laughs> Try color off, running and steaming on, please. Ha! Now we're here. Well done, everyone. The first passage of the year. Brothers don't shake hands. Brothers get a hug. <laughs> oh, all right, yeah. give me a hug, too. Oh. Two hands, two hands, what better are you? Oh, yeah. two hands, two hands. oh, two hands, sorry. Two hands. Uh, I didn't want to fall off the oh, boat. Brian, get in here, you oh, big yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Since we're in Scotland, I figured it appropriate to do a toast with some scotch. Oh, man. Oh, Aye, laddies. Oh my god. And then we have a little stump of Swedish whiskey if anyone wants to do a little taste cups, testing. Maybe. I have a, nothing like a whiskey at oh, uh, four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Guys, thank you for making the first passage less anxious for me <laughs> and getting us here safely. This has been a great trip and uh, it's not over yet, but we're here. Cheers. Here. Cheers. 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 Guess I've been lucky to some degree. Someone away from the yeah. tree. <laughs> Stars been alive. Well, back down the hole they came up. Like a the cave system. I'll be okay. Did you ever see a cave weather? <laughs> <by. laughs> yeah, my 30s. I'll be okay in the sweet by and Coming home was a big reality check in three weeks. We are moving on to the boat. We are leaving this apartment. We have
tons of things to do but before we go i really want to thank you for watching i cannot believe that you've been watching that long if you're interested about what happened after we made landfall in orkney well hang on there is a three minutes video of how orkney was and spoiler alert spoiler alert spoiler alert spoiler alert it is gorgeous all right guys thanks for watching catch you next week Like, Deb loves waves like that, and I was like, it's my...